Hello. Welcome to a Friday morning, Friday afternoon. <laughs> Friday late lunch edition. I haven't had lunch yet, but it's 1.46. Friday afternoon is a good day. Slept in because I could. You know, I just, I started listing things I'm grateful for and this morning or last night. I was like, days off, you know. It's just been a lot with funerals and other stuff going on. It's just been stressful a couple of weeks, have another funeral next week, which is, you know, I'm, I'm honored to do them. I don't hear this as a complaint, but it just, it's just, a, um, you know, it's nice to have a day off every now and then. And today's one, don't have to do anything. So, don't know much of anything else going on. Did my rowing a little while ago for half an hour, down to half an hour of rowing six days a week. And then took the dogs for a walk. Went a little bit longer, about a mile and a half today. A good walk, it's cold. I was, I think I was 29 degrees. I, I think I wore too many clothes. <laughs> I didn't want to be cold. I wasn't. I was a little hot on the way back. Of course, it's sunny today. Yesterday, I would have been perfect for yesterday when it was a little bit colder and windy and cloudy. But today was really nice with it being um, sunny. It's a beautiful day today. Um, I really do like winter. <laughs> you know, people think I'm crazy, but I really do like winter. <laughs> when it's like that. I, of course, I didn't like winter the one week we had winter last year when it was <laughs> below zero and everything shut down and um, half the world had no power. and That's no fun, but I do like having cold weather. And um, <clears throat> as they say in Norway, there's not, it's not, or not cold weather, or there's not bad weather, there's bad clothes. <laughs> you just have to be able to dress for it. Today I overdressed for it, but I was, it wasn't too bad. And the dog seemed to like it. Lucy is doing great. It's just, it's just odd <laughs> how good she does and then how she does nothing. <laughs> You'll go to walk and she'll, she'll just trot along and then the rest of the time she's just sleeping. <laughs> Here is our reading for Friday of week 32. I'm hoping Stanley will just stay down here on the floor. So, a new man out of both parties. A very informative verse now comes. That he might create in himself one man and two, so making peace. Wait, let me start that over. A very important verse now comes. That he might create in himself one man in place of two. So making peace, that's Ephesians 2, 15. This verse arose out of the scriptures during World War II and became my guiding star during, during the war and has been since. How do we find peace? Paul lifts up out of reality a universal method of finding peace. Get each party to change and come to a third position, a new man out of both parties. There is another way to peace. From the simplest relationship to the most complex. For example, take the relationship between a relationship between a husband and a wife. If the husband conquers the wife and suppresses her, knowing women as I do, I know there will be no peace. She will plan revenge, or vice versa. <laughs> but you're about to get really sexist here, J Stanley. I know there will be no peace. She will plan. Wait, or vice versa. Both must change and come to a third position: the union. Neither one conquers the other, but the union conquers them both. That brings peace. If the white race attempts to conquer the, the black race, as in being attempted in South Africa and in some parts of the United States, there will be no peace. There will be nothing but planned revenge and insecurity. It is said that, it, said that every man in South Africa has to have not one dog, but two, a little dog to wake up the big dog. Why this insecurity and fear? When I was there several years ago, the South African parliament put through 37 restrictive bills, taking away the last bit of franchise from the native African. A white legislator said, now that we have clipped the native's wings, we must be kind to him and be an example to the rest of the world as to how to treat the native kind to him while the African is under, be kind to him, but not just. 
This underlying philosophy is at the basis of conditions in that unhappiest and most insecure land of the world. If the white man would change and be willing to make a new man out of both parties, peace would automatically come. Now there is only hate and insecurity and war. Oh my goodness, that sounds kind of relevant today, doesn't it? I mean, you know, I don't know. There's a lot of perception, you know, that's about what other sides are doing. And misperception, perhaps, may be real. But um, until we start talking to people who disagree with us and start compromising, nothing's going to change. It's just going to be this way forever. And it's not a good way to be. Here's our prayer. Oh, Lord Jesus, you are creating yourself the new person, the new person who will rule in righteousness and justice and hence in peace. Help me to be that new person in every situation this day, laying hands of peace on everything. Amen. And our affirmation for the day gave us the ministry of reconciliation. May I exercise the ministry of reconciliation in every situation today. Jesus is Lord.